pastors, teachers, evangelists, and prophets, or leaders, should I say, in the house of God, have been seduced by the sheep to feed what they want. Seduced by the sheep to feed what they want. Seduction in the house of God. My little old dog, y'all know that, y'all know Lily, everybody know Lily. My little old Lily, she, will, she knows right where the treat, 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 treats. She knows right where the treats are. And she runs to the treats. And she looks up at them. And her little eyes seduce me. And her little floppy ears. And I be just giving her treats. Dear darling, this makes you happy and it makes your tail wag. And all of a sudden, Lily started getting sick. And I didn't know what was wrong with Lily. And I took Lily to the vet. And the, Lily, and the vet said, how many treats do you give her? What food does she eat? And I said, she's a picky eater. She don't like the food. And the doctor said, but they, see, you're the one with the brain, not her. The vet said, if you want to kill her, keep giving her what she wants. And I heard the Spirit of the Lord start talking to me. If you want to kill the sheep, keep giving them what they want. Because you're giving them treats and you're making that little tail wag. But God said, you ain't giving them food. I said, you ain't giving them food. You're not correcting them. And correction is of God. So now I'm having to draw Lily back. And I'm having to teach her how to eat real food. And she ain't happy with me. But I don't care because I don't want her sick because I love her and I love y'all and I don't want y'all sick. So I ain't being seduced by the sheep no more. The thing is, the problem is, if we don't preach nice, if we don't preach nice, then the sheep won't pay their tithes. Mm -hmm. If we don't keep telling everybody how awesome they are, you so beautiful, boo. Shut it up it. Shut it up it. If I got to keep telling you you so beautiful, boo, something wrong with you. The thing is, if we don't accept the sin of the sheep, the sheep pitch a fit and go find another church that they can manipulate. Another pastor that they can seduce. Oh, I'll serve you, Pastor. I'll serve you, and I'm going to be here for you. And I'm, not, I'm, I'm right here, Pastor. But when the real food starts coming forth, all of a sudden you're going to find somebody else to serve because you didn't have a spirit of service. You had a spirit of manipulation on you, and you're manipulating the pastor to get what you want to get. We ain't feeding that anymore. It's a spirit of seduction, and it's taken the whole church sheep and shepherds straight to hell. I know we ain't talked about that in a long time, and I know preachers don't like to preach about it anymore, but can I tell y'all it's a real place? Can I tell y'all that the Bible said that hell enlarges itself daily, and, but the Bible said that straight is a gate and narrow is the way of few there be that enter therein. I'm trying to preach to y'all the truth of God's word. I know we want to think that everybody gonna die and go to heaven, but it just ain't the truth. And there's a bunch of people sitting on the, in the house of God today that you ain't gonna make it, baby. You, I said you ain't gonna make it, baby. Yeah. 